If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. All right, guys, it's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. We're talking about Cardano today. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We've got these videos every single day and you do not want to miss them. Pavia.io, guys. Oh, I got my hot tea and honey. A lot of the load ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. Pavia's got some updates here. Uh, yet last video, we showed the community manager of Pavia uh, talking about some updates, but there's more updates coming. So, as we can see here, some of the current sub projects are PCA Builder Tool, Custom Game Architecture, Procedural and 3D Assets, Pavia Plaza Build, Pavs, obviously your avatar, creation website gamification, Pavia Brand and UI Refresh, Smart Contracts, Marketplaces, Interoperability and Collaborations, and more. Shout out to Pavia. Let's keep working, uh, building that Web3. We talked about what Web3 was in the VeChain video, so go ahead and take a look at that if you're interested. You keep hearing that, that uh, term just being thrown around, but in the last video, we really dug into what Web3 was. Um, in addition, there are some sub projects which we have chosen not to detail on the roadmap, Twitter, or mention in our regular updates. More on these when we can. Expect good surprises. So we've been following the Pavia project here through for many, many weeks now, and we're going to continue to do so, guys. So if you want more Pavia, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, we got OneCom here, ticker symbol 1COMM. Uh, guys, please delegate your crypto to OneCom. Delegate your crypto to small stake pool operators. We only support small stake pool operators on this channel. Um, it's very, very important that you do so uh, for the decentralization of the Cardano ecosystem, guys. They have 0% fees until at least the end of December 2022. Follow OneCom on Twitter for news and updates as well, guys. And they produce blocks each and every epoch. Thank you to OneCom. We love you, and let's move on. So this is pretty cool, guys. <clears throat> Derivatives exchange giant CME. So we've talked about CME uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. We covered a story. But they're adding more cryptocurrencies to their derivatives exchange. Global markets and companies, Chicago-based derivatives exchange, CME Group, plans to launch 11 new reference rates tied to specific crypto assets. These reference rates and real-time indices bolstered by CF benchmarks are typically leveraged by an exchange traded projects, products, and other investment vehicles. So they're adding 11 more cryptocurrencies to the firm's existing Bitcoin and Ethereum reference rates. So they are uh, reference rates used for a benchmark of exchange traded funds and other financial products. The rates cover Polygon, Solana, Stellar, Algo, Bcash, Cardano, Chainlink, Uni, Cosmos, Litecoin, and Polkadot. Pricing data for the benchmarks will be provided by Bitstamp, Coinbase, Gemini, ItBit, ItBit, what the heck? Kraken, <laughs> and LMAX. What the f Never heard of those exchanges in my life. <laughs> uh, each coin will leverage two exchanges, CME Group announcement discloses. As the digital market continues to expand, there's an increasing demand for reliable, standardized cryptocurrency pricing information based on a robust regulated reference rates. The CEO, the CME Group's global head of equity and FX product said in a statement. So, pretty cool. Yeah, guys, pretty cool. Um, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Cardano expanding, uh, derivatives are expanding, projects are expanding, markets are expanding. Just keep that in the back of your brain during these red times. All right, so we got some Wing Riders news, guys. Uh, let's take a look. Win Mainnet. So there's a launch update here. Um, 
let's just go through it. As many of you know, we've been saying mainnet any day launching in Q1, and we understand there may be some confusion on our previous blog post. At Wing Riders, we said many times that we were developer led. One of our core values is to make the best possible decks for the Cardado ecosystem. Technically, we could have gone on live last week or today. However, our aim is to make the best possible DEX platform on Cardano. Um, so pretty much they're going to be <laughs> delaying things here. Um, we're currently working with our partners to ensure that they are delivering what the community wants and the quality of ring riders expect. We want to be the best at what we do. Thanks for the support. So there's no real date here. Um, but I, I am excited for Wing Riders. They are, you know, created by Vacuum Labs. I believe they made your Roy, if I'm not mistaken. So they are a good company here. And I am very excited about their decks. Um, just delays, of course, like always. But... Um, I definitely am excited. There is a testnet for Wing Riders. If you guys want to go ahead and take that out, take take a look at that. There is a testnet. Um, matter of fact, let's try to go to their their Twitter so that we could see. But um, yeah, this wanted to bring that to your attention. Moving on. All right, so this is pretty cool, guys. Implementing Hydra Heads, the first step towards the full Hydra vision. Obviously, we're not gonna go over the whole article here, but <clears throat> there are some cool um, things that I wanna highlight here. Let's take a look at the roadmap. Obviously, Hydra, there's no such thing as Win Hydra, all right? It's a layered, you know, uh, uh, staged release, okay? It comes out in phases. They're, they're always working on Hydra. There's no such thing as when Hydra. It's always Hydra, and they're gonna iterate on it and add to it and improve it. As a group of protocols that would be delivered over time, it will involve more elaborate layer two systems on top of the Hydra head protocol. <clears throat> it is crucial that we engage frequently with the developers of the Cardano ecosystem. It's not about a big bang release, but rather a iterative release cycle, okay? Um, this is why we're developing the Hydra Head as an open source GitHub project, starting with the early proof of concept last year. Aiming for a regular and frequent release cadence, we released our initial developer preview in September, followed by the second iteration before Christmas. The next increment is coming up in February. We follow, oh, the next increment came up in February. We follow semantic versioning in each of these pre-releases adds features that will be available to our partners and early adopters to test out. So the roadmap is also available on GitHub, guys. Um, and again, with this Hydra, we're expanding scalability of the Cardano ecosystem, all a part of the Basho roadmap. And it's going to take time. I don't want to bore you with all the technical details, but here's the roadmap here. Um, and here are some things that need to be accomplished. Okay, so if you are, you know, tech savvy and you're a developer, you're somebody that knows their way around a GitHub repo, <laughs> go on over here and see if you could contribute any way you can. All right, guys, really appreciate it. Let's move on. Apologies for the rambly video today, guys. My brain is just not in it right now. So let's just get through it. <laughs> Finally, guys, uh, Wing Riders, again, um, they are, there will be ledger integration for Wing Riders. This is pretty badass. Um, yeah, that's the news. There will be ledger integration for wing riders. Um, and that's really all I got for you today, guys. I know I've been rambling a lot, uh, but tomorrow will be better. Um, I love you guys so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. And I'll talk to you with the V-Chain and Cardano updates 
tomorrow. Goodbye, guys. Thank you.